Hi, I'm Isaac, and this is the 2005 Pontiac Grand Piece of... Yeah! No! My name is Isaac, and yes, despite this Pontiac Grand Prix maybe not being in the best shape, we don't curse on this channel. It's for the entire family. Plus, I don't want YouTube to demonetize me. I'm sorry, sir. Today in this video, we're going to look at Jordan's Pontiac Grand Prix and kind of show you guys pretty much everything that's wrong with it. You know, despite this Pontiac Grand Prix maybe not being in the best shape, I kind of equate it to the movie The Room. It's kind of sad and embarrassing and well, it's not very good, but there's something likable about it, something that keeps bringing people back to it. And it's the same thing with this Pontiac Grand Prix. I really like this car. It's kind of the joke car amongst our friend group, but there's something endearing about it. So I wanted to show you guys just around the car today, and I thought this could be a fun video. So, without further ado, oh, you are tearing me apart, Grand Prix. Her name is Grace, the Gold Grand Prix, and she is my, oh, hi, Mark. I'm trying not to turn his car into a convertible right now. So I know a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do more cars, so here's a car. Yeah, I know it's kind of a drastic measure comparatively, and you were probably expecting some sports car or something, but Jordan's a good friend of mine, and I decided to review his car, and pretty much this, this video is a cry for help. Help. George's looking for a new car, and basically what we're going to do is any profit raised from this video now that I'm monetized on YouTube is going to go towards Jordan getting a new car, and then if he does get a new car, we're going to, I don't know, blow this one up or something. I mean, theoretically, if we can, we'll do it. I don't know. Maybe we'll just hit it with a baseball bat a couple of times, but your watching this video is contributing to us helping get Jordan a new car. Also, I just wanted to show you all the terrible things that, that is just, it, this car is falling apart. It's... Um, it's tragic, honestly. Alrighty, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a walk around of the exterior. Jordan's gonna show you guys pretty much everything that's wrong on the exterior that I'm gonna sit in and show you guys the uh, weird features on the inside. So Jordan, let's take it away. All right, so starting off, we got our tires, which are normally fine, except for the fact that this one in particular, just the front left, deflates faster than the rest of them. Uh, due to, from what I've been told, is a puncture on the inside of the rim, but no one seems to be able to fix it. No matter how many times I try to get it fixed, they can't fix it. So that's fun. Uh, the side rear mirror is good now, but at one point it was smashed off because in Philadelphia, some drunk college kid overnight smashed it off. That was Seems fun. to be a Philadelphia thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, painted stickers are fine. Yeah, that's just that used to be a stormtrooper. It was. And we also have our uh, tailgate uh, shield here that's cracked, a little bit cracked there as well. Uh, I won't go into details about how that happened for uh, legal reasons, but I will Did say- Did you kill someone? Never mind. Uh, it is getting a little moldy in there because rain is able to get in, but it still works fine. No shortages on that or anything like that. That's fine. So now to go a little further, see I have a little bit of a crack going here from when a uh, tractor trailer before I owned this kicked up a rock in front of the car and uh, it started as small here. But as it got throughout the years, it spread a little bit. That's not good. Are you gonna fix it? Then, as we come around to the front, we have the fog lamps on for now so you can see, because that one's on. This one on the bottom, over here, uh, burnt out. However, I can't seem to be able to replace it because, from what I can tell, since I live in PA, I can't order it for whatever reason. I can find compatible ones online, but it says I can't get shipped here. Uh, and it says anytime I look it up online, I have to go to a dealership from Pontiac, a company that's not around. Huh. Uh, also, the bumper here is a little messed up, but that's fine. All right, so moving into the interior here, um, this is where the quirks really uh, ramp up in here. Um, first off, I just want to touch upon that there is the passenger side in this car. This isn't like a fault that his has. It's just the passenger side has four AC vents. I have no idea why. The driver only gets three. That is the, the weirdest thing to me that you get four over here. 
it's weird. Uh, so what else do we have in here that you want to touch upon? Uh, we also have my turn signals, which I've replaced the headlights with new LED bulbs, or the turn signals with new LED bulbs. Yeah. But the car can't tell that there's bulbs in there because it gets too new. Still works, still lights up. The car doesn't know it's there, though. So that's fun. Yeah, that's weird. Um, and, you know, you might forgive all these things in this car. You might be like, Isaac, it's an old car. It's got all these, these dings and scratches and cracks and mistakes. Because it's old. It's probably got two, 300,000 miles on it. It's 15 years old. That's yeah. understandable. Yeah, yeah. It has 77,000 miles on it. Doesn't have 200. 77. That is GM reliability. Along with that, we also got uh, a leak in the floor over here on the passenger side that mm -hmm. I have taken to many mechanics. No one knows for sure what's going on. It's probably the crack, but we don't know for certain. Uh, also, this car first originally came with a mechanical electrical uh, car move. Like a seat. Like a the seat. seat. The seats the can seat move moves. automatically. Like they're powered seats. Yeah, they're powered. Thank you. Yeah. They're powered seats. <laughs> I wanted to keep <laughs> letting you keep going to, to see it. The electrical, mechanical, car, maneuverable, the moving, <laughs> mechanical, the seats move. The, 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 seats, hash the seats are singing, powered. The, <laughs> the hash, hash bringing. <laughs> so the seats are powered. The seats are powered, or at least they were, except after I took it to get inspected one time, I came back and they don't work anymore. And I tried to get it fixed, but they can't fix it. So that's fun. It's stuck like this forever. That's great. This is, well, forever is a, I don't know if the car will be around that long. My favorite thing with this car, the reason that I said, Jordan, I have to review your car, is he came up to me at work the other day, and he was like, <laughs> he's like, so my air conditioning is stuck on at full blast permanently, even when I turn the car off the air conditioning is stuck on and so what he has to do so he went to go get it fixed and then so you went it you got it fixed initially i got the blower motor fixed because that had melted but also along with the blower motor is also the actual control unit for turning it up or down uh that also got melted which is a known pontiac grand prix issue uh, that was never recalled for so that's cool yeah so Without further ado, we're going to show you this issue because it's still happening. Can you adjust the... You could adjust if it's heat or cold, right? I could adjust the heat. I could touch the temperature and where it's going out of. But you I can't adjust the, 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 the fan speed, basically. So first, you got to make sure the car is running. Pop the hood. Come around here. Oh, I just noticed there's some loose tape. That's cool. I uh, also need to get the belt replaced. Pop that guy in. Now, don't know if the camera's picking this up, but you might hear it just came on now. So if we go actually back in. You can hear the AC's on. Now, you might be saying, now, Jordan and Isaac. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. You put the fuse back in where it's supposed to be. Of course it's going to go. Here's the thing, though. That's still on. It's still on. He just took the keys out of the car and it is still on. Now I gotta put the keys back in so it doesn't drain my battery because that happened a year ago. This is the second time this actually happened. I have this replaced. This is a second one that I've had it. I have to do it again. So now, we go back. Because also, don't know whatever happened to it, but whoever had the car before lost the tool to actually get the fuse south, so I have to get these pliers and bring them with me everywhere. And that's my process for staying cold in the summer and hot in the winter. So, driving the Grand Prix, um, it makes scary sounds when you turn the wheels. Actually, it makes a lot of scary sounds all the time. Yeah. And, um, so what did you, so I don't know if we're going to hear those sounds, I don't know if the, the, the camera's going to pick that up. What did you tell me? You told me on the way here what you think those sounds were. What did you think it you said? Well, one of them is definitely the belt. Like, it's starting to wear thin, so when you right. press on the gas, uh, especially accelerating uh, mm -hmm. faster, it starts to give a whining noise. Yes. It's it's a... I literally... We were driving here. I was like, what was that? And he's like, oh, that's just the that's just the whining noise. Like, it's just normal. Like, like that just happens on every car. Yeah. 
Look at this. Alright. Yeah, that doesn't uh, happen on your car, on your Tacoma? Oh, no. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Uh, yeah, that's. That's the, I mean, how is your Tacoma doing, by the way? I heard that uh, you were missing gas at one point yes. and that the front was uh, messed up. It's the last time I let a celebrity on my show. Uh, Yoda reached out and was like, like to film a, a car review, I would. And I was like, that's weird, you're Yoda. But I was like, this is really cool. So like, it's really, I was, it was a starstruck moment, if I'm mm -hmm. being honest. I was starstruck. So I was like, oh, yes, absolutely, Yoda. I would uh, definitely allow you to do it. He's like, good. Show up to your house promptly, I will. And then he was there like the same day, so I was like, okay, I guess, you know, I guess I'll let you film here. But uh, he siphoned all the gas out of the truck, uh, and he, he he caused a major accident. Thankfully, no no lives were lost, uh, and no one was uh, severely injured. But um, it was a it was a really big big accident on the highway he caused with my truck. Uh, he's actually uh, awaiting trial right now uh, for. It's not funny. Don't laugh. It's I, I feel bad for the guy, but I mean, for for reckless driving and endangerment of uh, the public safety, I believe, were the charges against him. Wasn't so he, drinking while driving on there? No. He, uh, <laughs> see, no, oh, not te no, not technically, because they couldn't deter. Since gasoline is not something we traditionally drink, they couldn't determine if they were actually going to slap him with a drinking driving charge, because they were like, well, gasoline's not something you tend to usually actually drink so um, that's still up in the air if he's going to get hit with that because they don't really know the uh, the effects of gasoline on the human body when when drank I mean he drank he, dr he drank the entire tank he, he drank 18 gallons of gasoline yikes I mean he's also not human though he had, <laughs> the court hearing was awful because he, he uh, during uh, during arraignment he had to pee like 50 times <laughs> <laughs> just keep, it's not just, funny, I just, just, He had to just keep going. The bathroom, may I please have? <laughs> These are serious charges. They are serious charges. I'm just thankful no one got hurt. Um, but back to, uh, back to the great car. grace of the Grand Prix. You know, honestly, it doesn't... This doesn't drive, like, horribly. Like, it drives... Like, it, well, it has decent pickup. Yeah, it's a... I mean, it's a piece of crap in... Or it's terrible in most areas, but it actually, I love how it drives. But... No, I actually think the handling of this is, is is quite good on the highway, except for the very loud whine, the doors chattering, the glass that's smashed, your heating element be, being stuck on, which, I mean, this whole driving segment may be drowned out by the air conditioning just being on continuously, so I have no idea. But, you That'd know... That'd be awkward. It, uh, well, we'll see what happens. I'm going to save it at the edit. It'll just, we'll just, like, amp it, like, to, like, 80% audio. Tell the audience about how the check engine light. 24-7. Apparently it's been on since his last inspection, and they were like... Yeah, no, uh, it was on before I had to take an inspected last year, and it was still on after the fact, but they said that they went through and tried to see why it was still on, but they fixed every issue that would have been causing it. So it's just on! Yep. I will say, the sound in this car is actually... The sound good. is good? The sound is good. It actually has great bass. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is very surprising out of, out of everything in this car great bass guys if you love great bass get a grand prix or get a different car with also good bass yes or you can do that or you just get speakers that are good in your car so we're gonna end it here because we left where we were filming so this is gonna be how we end it so we're not gonna do a cool like uh end of video shtick like ah maybe go buy a grand prix or don't maybe just don't just, just don't, don't, don't just don't do it just uh, don't so uh, now, of the two cars I've reviewed, PT Cruiser and Grand Prix, just don't buy them. Just don't. Just don't do a PT Cruiser, don't buy a Grand Prix. He actually owned a PT Cruiser before the Grand Prix, so he's, like, getting the trifecta. I hope his next car is a Pontiac Aztec. That, I can only hope that the next thing he buys is a Pontiac Aztec. No, no, no. Next is going to be a Saturn. Oh, yeah. Yes, beautiful. Also, the blind spots in this car, oh, my gosh. Have you, had a, have you ever driven a Hummer H2? To all the four people watching this video that have driven a Hummer H2, that has better blind spots than this car. Blind spots aren't that bad. Or maybe I'm just used to it. Yeah, I think you're used to it. I mean, my truck, my pickup truck doesn't have, like, that pillar back there, you can't really see it. Oh, this the pillar, pillar back yeah. there. Like, you can't, like, if there was a car in that pillar, like, that can hide a whole car. Uh, Actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, retrospectively, yeah, yeah, yeah.
So, uh, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Drop kick that notification bell. Abuse that subscribe button. We don't abuse it. No, we don't okay. abuse it. That's not what we, we don't support abuse. We're like very my father. This is actually, we're going to turn it around into Isaac's counseling hour. Do you need to talk about your dad? <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for better quality videos than this. Yeah. Uh, my name is Isaac. I'm Jordan. And, and uh, no matter what vehicle you have, I'll pray it lasts you a long time and serves you well. i got to pray for this car, that this car continues to last Jordan.